sorry to keep going off track from the recipe here, but um, I'm just waiting an extremely long time for these carrots to cook. It's already been about 20 minutes. Um, they're actually almost ready. So, But I also wanted to mention another book that I'm reading right now that I really, really like. Um, and that's The Food Revolution. How Your Diet Can Help Save Your Life and Our World. It's written by John Robbins, and if you're not familiar with him, he actually wrote um, Diet for a New America, and he actually happens to be the son of the founder of Baskin Robbins, interestingly enough. And he apparently um, decided to give up the, um, the uh, inheritance of the family business and fortune to create a life of his own completely sustainable. So I, I found that uh, really interesting. And I, it's a very good book. I highly recommend this as well. Um, sorry to keep going off topic like this. I hope you're finding it interesting at, at the least. Um, and hopefully informative as well. Okay. Um, now I also, with the ginger and the um, jalapeno pepper, I just cut them up into uh, little manageable sized pieces so that when we put them into the food processor they um, don't get all chunky in there because like I said earlier I'm actually not going to um, take the time to strain the soup. I, I wanted to have a little bit of texture but when you cut it up everything just gets pureed nice and evenly and I'm actually, um, hold on. I like to have a little taste of all the jalapeno peppers before I put them in just so I can get a sense of um, how spicy it is because I've noticed um, actually recently all the uh, jalapenos I've been buying are more like bell peppers. They're not um, spicy at all. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy but it, it'll do because uh, the ginger has some spiciness um, as well. So. I think it'll definitely pair nicely with the carrots. Alright, so the um, carrots are actually all set, and you can test that they're ready by sticking a knife in the middle. It should just go in really easy, just like a uh, baked potato or something um, of that nature. But I'm not going to lie here, they took a lot longer than I thought they were going to take. I guess because there were so many carrots. It, they actually ended up taking up uh, almost 45 minutes. So um, don't be surprised if they take that long. And what I'm going to do now is start working in batches, um, putting the carrots into the food processor, and along with the ginger and the um, jalapeno pepper. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm, oh, also some uh, fresh garlic in there, and I'm just going to blend that all up. So uh, let's go see. Luckily, um, sorry, hello, here I am. Luckily, my food processor is... Um, large enough that I'm only going to have to split this into two batches. You're probably, uh, with a smaller one, you're probably going to end up doing about three to five batches. So you just want to um, fill it up, puree it until it's smooth, and um, just set it aside for now because we're going to do something else in the pot before we get it going again. Also, um, if it starts to get a little too thick in here, if it's all kind of like uh, soft at the bottom, but all the rest of the carrots are still stuck at the top of the food processor, add a little bit of soy milk. That'll help combine everything together. Add the soy milk while it's going if you um, have that option. And what that'll do is it's just going to give our soup a really uh, creamy texture. Okay, um, now that the carrots are all pureed, like I said, I didn't strain them. I personally like the uh, little bit of texture in there. If you want to strain them, go ahead, knock yourself out, be my guest. Um, I'm just not doing that. Uh, what I want to do is see this water, that water that's left in the pot over here from the, um, sorry, I know I'm making you sick the water left in the pot from the carrots, if there's not really any water left, add some water to the pot because what I want to do, just to kind of um, round out the flavor, I'm going to add um, a free-range organic chicken stock. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to add a vegan vegetable bouillon cube. No salt added. Um, this is the Rapunzel brand. 
This is just the kind I bought. I'm sure there's plenty of other brands that do the exact same thing. Feel free to use them. Um, and this really is going to round out the flavor, bring everything together. So once this dissolves in that water that's in the bottom of the pan, I'm going to add all the puree back to the um, pot and I'm just going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. Now as the uh, soup is simmering over there, if you notice that it's starting to get a little bit too thick, you can either, uh, you have two options. You can add a little more water to help thin it out. You could also add some more soy milk, which will thin it out and um, make it a, uh, a little more creamy. So that's basically it. Um, I think that this would pair lovely with a side of something really simple, just some plain um, brown rice with a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I think that would be a great addition to this uh, soup. And unfortunately, I'm running a little bit short on time. Uh, right now, I have to take the puppies out. They need to go for a walk. So thank you for uh, staying with me. Sorry for the, um, the lighting, the uh, motion sickness with the camera, all that stuff. Um, but again, thanks for watching. I hope that um, I inspired you to cook something of your own and most importantly inspired you to make food choices that do respect your health, do respect the well-being of others, and do respect our environment. Um, and I think that that's the most important thing. If you want to uh, see a final finished uh, version of the soup, I encourage you to go to my blog. It's www.eatingconsciously.com. I'll have this video. I'll also post the recipe and I'll have a um, photo of the final presentation of the soup. Thanks for being with me.